Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain what exactly is SAP. So if you are someone new to SAP or you want to start your career in SAP or you are a customer who is using some other ERP product today and you just wanted to know what exactly is SAP, you should watch this video. SAP stands for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. It is one of the ERP product which is available in the market. Now what exactly is a ERP product? So in a company, there are different departments. You talk about a manufacturing company, you will find the manufacturing department, finance department, procurement, sales, HR and many other departments that you have in the organization. Now, in order to manage the day-to-day -day processes of these different departments, you need different softwares, right? So if you are a small company, you might be having different, different softwares for each department. For example, in order to manage finance, you have Tally. In order to manage your sales, you have some other system. In order to manage procurement HR, you are using the third or fourth system. If you are using this many different softwares in the organization, it is always difficult to manage the integrated processes. For example, if I am from the finance department and I want to know what is happening in the procurement department, I will not have the access because the software that I am using, it is only catering to the requirement of finance department. So in order to create this integration, in order to make sure that all the processes are integrated and we are able to perform the integrated business processes, we can use the ERP softwares. ERP softwares allows the companies to integrate all their different business processes, which means all the different departments of the organization, instead of using individual softwares, they will use a common software where all the data is available. So for example, now after using ERP, if I am a, a finance manager and I want to know what is happening in the procurement, as long as I have the access, I can go into the same software and I can get that information. So I'm no more dependent on the procurement department to give them the call, to send them the mails for getting some report, which is important for me as a finance manager. Now, SAP is not only the single ERP, which is available in the market. There are some other ERP players. For example, you might have heard about Oracle Labs. You might have heard about Microsoft Navision, Microsoft Dynamics. There are n number of ERP vendors who are available in the market based on what is your organization size based on many different factors you normally decide which ERP will best suit to your industry. So if I talk from the SAP point of view, SAP is the largest ERP producer or SAP is the largest ERP vendor available in the market. So you name any company in any industry. For example, if I talk about uh, five top companies within the manufacturing industry, within the service industry, within the retail industry, you will find that SAP is already being used there. And that is because SAP is the most commonly used ERP available in the market. SAP SE is a German based company who develops this software. SAP started in 1972 and then from last 50 years, they are coming up with new, new products in the market. So when they started, the first product they came up with was R1, then it was R2, then R3, then SAP ECC. And finally, in 2015, SAP introduced a completely new product, SAP S4 HANA. So I hope you understood what exactly is SAP in this particular session. In my next video, I will try to explain what exactly is SAP S4 HANA. Thank you for watching this video.